The long-anticipated Education Oversight Committee to manage the transformation of the sector has been established. The group, which consists of diverse professionals and from the public and private sector, say they're committed to improving Jamaica's education sector. Jamila Maitland reports. Almost six months after the release of Professor Orlando Patterson's Jamaica Education Transformation Commission report, a committee to oversee its execution has been formed. Yes, there's been a, tie, a lag in the time between the report being launched to now, but what I'm saying is there's work that is on the way at the ministry, so we're not losing any time at all. The report listed 119 recommendations to improve Jamaica's education sector that caved under the pressures of the pandemic. It calls for, among other things, an investment of $2.5 billion in the sector now, or risk an illiterate society if delayed. Dr. Adrian Stokes is chairman of the Oversight Committee. He provided a timeline of action items. Chief among them is the employment of a technical officer. The ministry will also activate a special unit to provide additional support to the chief transformation officer. Importantly, the chief transformation officer will be tied into all the necessary departments and agencies of the ministry to ensure the full weight of the ministry is behind the execution effort. The 17-member board comprises of scholars, youth and church leaders, principals, the opposition, private sector groups, among others. Noticeably absent was a representative from law enforcement deemed critical in light of an increase in school violence. We will definitely be reaching out to law enforcement and other relevant um, groups in, in the country to ensure, as I, as I said, that we have the best ideas driving implementation. 54 issues will be prioritized in the education sector. High on the list is early childhood development, which according to the report is largely privatized and woefully underfunded. The government is investing more as well in terms of creating more infant departments and infant centers attached to primary schools, especially infant departments attached to primary schools so that there's surety that you have trained professionals in those schools. What is needed is an acceleration of all of that. In 20 years, we should have gotten way further than we are right now. Student sitting exit exams will also be prioritized. And with the PEP results scheduled to be released on Friday, July 8, Dr. Stokes says it will also help to finalize the committee's focus areas. Having the PEP, PEP results and seeing how students uh, performed, then it will give us very, very good indications, um, a good indication, I should say, on, on you know, the work of, the, of ETOC and priority areas and, and so on. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.